And we're going. We're going. We Some are going, people. Back oh. at the Imperial, still at the Imperial, St- always, always the Imperial. at the Imperial. Always. Yes. So some guy in job with Adam and Adam. Rachel. Yeah. Hotel. Special guests, Adam and Rachel. With Adam. With okay, Adam. With Adam. Like, Rachel's just kind of sitting in. She's here. She's gonna be a fly on the wall. And uh, I didn't number see the movie. number she didn't thirty, see the movie. number thirty-seven. Is this 37 or This is 37. Oh, shit, this is 37. Yeah. Wow. We might have we might have 40 on your birthday. Okay. I think last year it was 30 on your birthday, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's not terrible. All right. And tonight we're talking about it. Wow. Well, I, I saw it. Did you see it? I saw it. Adam, did you see it? I also saw it. I saw it twice. Rachel didn't see it? Yes. She did not see it. I saw it. And I saw it. And Guy saw it. Twice. Twice. I saw it twice. I saw it twice. Okay. Do we want to go over that one more time just to make sure the audience uh, gets the point? I don't know. Should we really do that? Should we really do it again? You totally want to do it again. I think we should get on with it. I feel like we should get on with it. I, yeah, I'm remembering that scene in Monty Python's The Holy Grail when everyone just yells, get on with it at the audience. Get on the, with it! Because uh-huh. so many people gather together to listen to our podcast. Yeah. Well, then we should get but on with it. for the people yes. who do, I'm sure they get a Monty Python reference. Yeah, it's Artie, so... You don't yeah. think, you don't think yeah. he'd, he'd get sick of it. Yeah. Hi, Artie. How you doing? Hi. Hi. Shout out. Woo-hoo, our, our one actual fan, so he says. Yeah, but he's committed. Yes, he is. He is. We're doing it for you already. Anyway, so it. You know, at first, you know, I was I was bothered. I, I thought it was IT, and I was like, oh shit, a computer game. Uh, you know. I I got excited for a second. I was like, ooh, what are they gonna do? New version of Linux? And then uh, it turned out it's a remake uh, of the original movie. It kind of. Yes. No, actually, it could be a sequel because it's the same year. That they come back. It's the same year as they come back as adults. Yeah, it's true. Oh, fuck yeah, you're right. Yeah, so you could almost say this: both stories are happening at the same town, at the same time in the town. Was it? Was in the same town? I believe it was in Maine. Yeah, because it's Stephen, Stephen King, King and everything <laughs> Stephen King does is in Maine. Maine. Yeah, Wait, it wasn't based in Maine in this one. Well, it right was, where you know it was Maine. It was, yeah, it was the, the license plate on the Trans Am. Yeah, it, thought, Maine. it was Maine. Yeah, it's, it's always it, it, Maine. Yeah, of course yeah. it's Maine. I'm surprised. I mean, okay, let me ask you this: Did anybody notice any writers in this movie? Because that's the other hallmark of a Stephen King movie is, or story is that there's a writer somewhere. There's always someone who's a writer. I think the kid that stutters character when he grows up is a writer. Yeah, when okay. he, he grows up, he is. There, it, yeah. Well, we don't know if he'll do that this but, time. Around. Yeah, we, okay. we don't know because in this version, version, you only see the kids. You don't see the adults. Yeah. Which is the second let's, half. Let's of get the something book. out of the way first and okay. up front. What's that? What you want to get out? It's not. It's it's not a direct remake. Of the 90s Not at all TV. No. And it's a two-parter So this is the first part When they're first little part. kids They're going to come back as adults If this movie does well Which, judging by the theater It might It was packed It was yeah, packed it was last night too packed. It was yeah. packed people, yeah. are, people are seeing it and, and I know why It's because it's coming out At the perfect slash worst time Yeah It's 80s nostalgia Like just Again, yeah Violently pumped up your ass. But not But not really <laughs> It is. Well, not the, the music is, but not the setting, because the setting it's could be. It's not that, any much, small that town. Yeah. much of an 80s movie. I mean, it Well, kinda, I mean, there's the music, there's the hairstyles, there's the clothing, there's. Really? I there's mean. There's the fact that it's. There's it's not that much a bunch 80s of kids fashion that are all it. going to solve uh, this problem yeah. against a monster. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's a lot of 80s movies right there. Okay, there's 80s movies in there, but I just the, the time period they set seemed like it could t- kind of take place at any mo- at any point. Aside from well, them being like well, some like well, back street mean, boys, not any point, not yeah. any point. But like it could be in the 50s, it could be in the 60s, it could be in the yeah. 70s. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, they talk about how there were these incidents in the 50s every yeah. 27 years. Every 27 yeah. years, yeah. yeah. And it comes out 27 years after the original 90s one got made. Right. Yeah. Right. So nice twin- twinky dink right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's again, it's a bunch of kids. They're on bikes half the time. So very like Goonies, ET, right yeah, there. Yeah. The rest yeah, of the time they're teleporting. Goonies. What? The rest of the time they're teleporting around town. Yeah, yeah right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah but it depends on if they need to be attacked or not. Yeah. If they right. need to be attacked, then they're on foot. If they don't need to be attacked, then they're on their bike. <laughs> yeah, That's basically. the general rule. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, it doesn't hold up with E.T. or Goonies, though, because they're kind of attacked on both. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. I mean... They're chased on which, that one. It, it's, yeah, it's weird, because it seems like the It creature could probably chase them on a bike. It seems like that would be an effective well, scene, well, but see, they I'm never so, really... Uh, I'm thinking that's going to come out in the sequel. I think it's going to be in the yeah, sequel. Yeah, it could be in the sequel. Because there's a... Like, I, I think you're if right. You, if, you notice, if like, you notice, I remember from the, the first movie, because I never read the book, yeah. it's never in direct sunlight. Ever. Oh, okay. It's always I in the shadow. It's always in the shade. Second. All right. It's All right, never... Okay. Even, even, in the, even in the opening Wait, scene... Wait, no, that's not true. Trailer, no, when, that's not true. When? That, in this movie, uh-huh. the clown chases the kid in the backyard of the, the creepy Adams family house. No, he doesn't yeah. chase him. He's the vision's chasing him, but he's under the awning. Uh, but okay. he is the vision. No, he's projecting the vision. No, but he is the vision. He he is like all that well, stuff. I mean, None of that stuff actually happens. It's in their heads. He controls yeah, their heads. Yeah. So because of that. No, he's okay. a shape shifting creature. He yeah, turns he into. He turns it into into the thing, whatever the thing that they're afraid of. No, he shows them the thing that they're afraid of. No, he turns into the thing that they're afraid of. Well, you know, we can go back and forth. Well, this well that means that they're all suspiciously feared, uh, afraid of the same clown. Yeah, but because he shows up as a clown, pretty much to all of them yeah. except for one guy. Yeah, that's yeah. just like just freaks his... out over a painting. Yeah. at his temple when he's yeah. practicing, you know, for. Um, for his bar mitzvah. That was a that weird painting. painting. Yeah. Okay, well, okay. Yeah. Look that was, that was the only deviation from that. Everything else was the clown. But whatever. For me, I still think getting back on target a little bit, at least for me, um, no, I think it's I think it's more 80s nostalgia. Yeah. It's not only it, does it look and feel a lot, I mean a lot, like Stranger Things. Well, it feels that it feels well, that it big. Well, the fact it, that it's got one of the kids got, from got, Stranger it's Things. It's got the in lead it. kid. Yeah. Not Eleven. Eleven isn't technically the lead. No, but the but yeah, she's but just the, the most popular. But he but, is playing a very different character. Uh, he is, in and, 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 he, and him yeah. and the other the hypochondriac kid are the best. The best. Absolutely. They make the movie. A hundred and ten percent. And can we no. talk? Yeah, can we talk about the like how no, great the they're acting awesome. by they're the kids awesome. is in this movie? But, like, they're fucking great. But Stranger Things is eighties nostalgia porn. Yeah. As yeah. a result, this felt just like this. It felt a lot like it because it was that nondescript. Yeah, that nondescript. It was eighties. He yeah. still looks the same. I mean, yeah. he's in the movie. Yeah. He's on the bikes with his pals. They're facing down a monster. And I'm guessing it's, they put those thick-ass glasses on so some people wouldn't call it. I think it. that's the only way yeah. Yeah. they could separate. Oh, wait. Isn't this like a Stranger Things movie? Yeah. Whoa, yeah. whoa. We better put glasses on this kid so that people know it's not the same character. Yeah. Although his character in the... It's very uh, different. His character originally played by Seth Green also wore, in the 80s uh, oh, movie, did also wore glasses. Oh, yeah. I didn't, I didn't all right, well, fair enough. 90s. The 90s. Well, yeah, it was yeah. Uh, li- I mean, The book was late 80s. The thing was still, 1990. 1990. Yeah, basically, the movie was more tense and creepy than horror. It wasn't actually kind of scary, now, despite the fact that a lot of our audience was scared. People I, I were, counted. Uh, there were four total deaths in the movie. So for a horror movie? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a pretty that's, light that's, load. That's yeah. weak oh, yeah. sauce, yeah. man. That's weak sauce. You know? Four deaths? But that is pretty gory. Even, the, I mean, monster. I don't know. I mean, the Georgie death scene. I've seen gory. That was gory. I've seen Not with somebody okay. that young. Though. Well, yeah, that's the thing. That's what it was like the. That's what Can made we talk it, about that, that scene that in the non-spoiler point. section? Because it's the first scene, so no, it's not really a spoiler. Okay. No, 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 we gotta, gotta go we'll the go, go back to that in the spoiler section. Yes, yes, gotta go yes. All yeah. right. So I'm like, what the hell is it about? I mean, for the, you know, for the uh, uninitiated. Yeah, we all know what it's about, so what is it, what's the IMDB say? Yeah, yeah. We go to that. Well, for the uninitiated, yeah. what's the spoiler-free, simple, quick little plot that basically anybody who has never seen the movie would be like, oh, okay, I think I get it. Oh, uh, by the way, the original is 1990, since I'm searching on IMDb. I, li- I just said, you know what, never mind. <laughs> uh, a group of bullied kids band together when a monster, taking the appearance of a clown, begins hunting children. That's it. That's what IMDb has. Yeah. That's about that's, that's, um, yeah, that's all you need to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, right? That's very non spoiler you know. Uh, another thing that's worth noting on IMDb, this sucker out of 17,000 reviews has an 8.3 out of 10. 
<laughs> it's testing high. People wow, like yeah. this fucking movie. Man. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty solid movie. I it really is, like it. I really like it too. But it does have yeah. its, pro- its. I think it's about a half hour too long. It was two hours and fifteen minutes. It's about a half hour too long. Yeah. And, and I know exactly where they, they did that. And, and I will Ooh, circle spoilers, back. Spoilers. Spoilers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I will circle back and I will I will say exactly where we can take a half hour out of that. Yeah, there was a, or at least there fifteen. Are, there there are a without getting to spoil the territory. Yeah. There are a lot of scenes that don't involve it that can easily be cut. Well, a lot of like. The character development the oh, I, got a whole, I got a whole that could be cut not even seen I got a whole like sequence yeah. that I could rip out of this thing combine it with an existing scene and the movie it holds up just as good oh yeah totally but we'll get to that we'll get, yeah, to, we'll that. get, to, we'll that. get to that my I have short really quick notes for it anyway yeah it, which, I mean I liked it. Part of me wants to count not... how many times you say it during this review because it's just so just a generic word. Well, let's take a shot movie, every time but... we say it. No. Then we'll all be dead by the end of the... Uh... Oh. 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 Way ahead of you. We'd already be down. Oh. Yeah. All right. Somebody say it. Oh, I just did. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Try not to say it too much. There it goes again. Oh, yeah. I got to take it yeah. all up. Yeah. Yeah. You got to stop it. Oh, I'm drowning here, man. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, it's good stuff though. Anyway, uh, <laughs> there's a. I liked it, but I thought I I kind of figured going in from versus like the 1990 version, this was gonna be a lot scarier, a lot more of a horror movie, and it just wasn't. No, like I it's said, it's more it's more a creepy and tense than anything. No, Rachel was telling me of what what a friend of hers mentioned, and after he saw it, and I kind of agree with him after hearing what he what he said. He's like, it's. It's masquerading as a horror movie, but in reality, it's really it's a coming of age movie. Yeah, it's Stand it's by all Me it with is. a monster. Right, it's all. Yeah. it's just a coming of age. Movie. It's exploring okay, it with a monster. Yeah, it is it, totally Stand by Me with a monster. Well, it is. It's face your but fear. I still think it's a horror movie. I mean, it meets all the parameters of what a horror movie is. Four deaths. That's it. That's all you get. Four deaths. And were you actually? Scared? I don't know, dude. I've seen more deaths. Than there are bombs. horror movies with no deaths in them at all. That are still technically horror movies. I can't leave an example offhand, but I know they Yeah, exist. but we're not going to take the time to define a whole genre by what's in and not in the movie, so let's not worry about I, I still think that It is in a horror movie, though. I think it's like a suspense, thr- a suspense thriller. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll concede to a suspense yeah, thriller. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll I'm, I'm that. fine with that. Yeah, because yeah. I'm fine with that. Because, like, did you notice, like, oh, you weren't scared. I mean, you weren't scared. You were just like... How many was, scenes are yeah. there? I mean, maybe they... I'm just a giant pussy. Shut well, up. But, well, yeah, there you're, are... You're shut, the up, shut, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Well, your face But there is. were... Su- the <laughs> oh. Okay, that's a diagnosis, not my name. <laughs> and that's a whole other issue that we can get onto when we're not talking about a movie. Because I read your Facebook comments, motherfucker, and I will get you back on that later. We're out of But love. for later, um, where the fuck was I talking about? Yeah, I was scared by this movie at certain points. I, I know, for sure, okay. It was yeah, scary. Were you jump scared, or were you like, this is what's going on there is scary? There were a few jump scared parts, but a lot I of I was jump scared, were- but... I mean, I didn't, like, scream and yell, but, yeah, when there were, like, slow, non-jump-scary moments, when it's just, like, when it's just, you know, Pennywise being Pennywise, oh, I found yeah. that genuinely scary. See, I find I it more creepy than anything. See, yeah, okay, got, creepy, yeah, scary, see, I feel no, like we're splitting no, hairs now. No, I, I'm, I gotta side with Guy on this one, definitely. No, because there's found a difference creepy, between... not scary. He was yeah. creepy as fuck. He yeah. was not scary. Yeah. I, I, I think when he was coming out, just like no, nah! still he was doing creepy. that. Really, no, still creepy, not scary. Because you, because, because before he did that, other, he was dancing around and said, "Whether yeah. okay, we all we all know that they got to build characters in these yeah. movies, they got to do character development. Yeah, Unfortunately, yeah, totally. they did a little too much character development right when they introduced fucking Pennywise in this movie. Yeah. He's almost laughable, funny, like creepy. Yeah. When you're not the age of the kids in the movie watching this movie, you're laughing your fucking head off at yeah. how creepy he is. But you're not really scared of him. No, definitely not. It, well, there you go. You gotta base everything off of that going forward because that's all you know of this character. Yeah. So forget, he's a character. We gotta go with what we know, and what we know in the beginning is he's really just creepy. Yeah, creepy as fuck. There's one like 
at the very end of that scene, it's like, oh my god. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit, but you know what? Everybody knew that was going to happen. Yeah, yeah. You're not yeah. scared. You're like, fuck. Because it's an 80s out, yeah. movie. It is yeah. what it is. It just yeah. happened to be made yesterday. There just but were some moments. I mean, okay, when he... It, it, all the build-ups were so very... They were very formulaic. You could hear all the risers. From I'm going to have to give you my rebuttal in the spoiler no, section no, no, because no, I can yeah. think of several moments where he was genuinely scary, but... The creature. The creature. I'll give you scary. Yeah. But the Pennywise. character? Pennywise? Yeah. No. no, creepy, not scary. The yeah. creature inside him? Scary. Yeah, because you, okay. okay. you don't know what that fucking thing's capable of. Yeah, I know what came, Pennywise He came from a position of ultimate power, so he was always right. fucking around. The creature, he fucking He always around. wanted you to He's be scared. scared. Yeah. The character of Pennywise that oh. surrounds him yeah. is almost kind of campy at times. Yeah. But he's creepy because it's a clown picking on little kids and luring them in. Yeah. As yeah. shown in the trailers. Yeah. That's fucking creepy. Yeah. But only the actual monster inside is the one that's actually killing it. And what makes yeah. the monster so right. even slightly Pennywise, scary is that it opens the Pennywise, for instance, Pennywise opens his mouth and there's a monster. Inside. Pennywise yeah. has character fucking flaws. Yeah. He has emotional fucking flaws. I can't be scared of that fucking guy. If you're not scared of him, he gets sad. Yeah. I can't be fucking scared of that he guy. Yeah. Shit yeah. When you're not scared of him. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Guy, yeah, that's the guy I'm scared of. He's the guy who doesn't give a shit if I'm scared of. Pennywise is like in really like thin skin. Yeah. And it bothered, and he really has to work to He's like, you're not scared. But I just thought yeah. Pennywise well, was the creature. It was no. just the creature with a with the mask on. It's just the well, creature. Yeah, but the mask with, is Pennywise. Yeah. But it's still the creature though. It's and just the creature with the mask goes, on. It's like if I well, came no, no, if I creature, came to you with a wolfman no, mask on. No, no, yes, a, I would look like a wolfman, but I would still be Adam on the inside. Yeah, but Pennywise, and you would know that this is Adam Pennywise so the ain't the only thing to attack kids in this movie. No, yeah. not at all. But it's the same fucking creature. It's all that creature. Yeah. It's all that. T- it's all that creature just takes it force. But he yeah. always, he always, almost defaults back to Pennywise. Yeah, Pennywise yeah that's just his, 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 his yeah. Well, because I think, I think, I have a theory. I think it's because this creature knows that Pennywise is one of those images that any kid sees will be scared of. Yeah. Yeah. So he doesn't have to work that hard. Uh, just very, very specific. He just knows. It, even if, I don't have to tap into their fears to figure out what form to take. I know this form will scare them. I'll just put on Pennywise, and that will become their new worst fear. And boom! I've just—it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah. Yeah, and he could have been using that face for so long. Right. It's almost default used to right. easier to make. Right. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. worked for so long. Yeah. Why wouldn't it keep working? It works every 27 years. Why wouldn't we keep doing it? Because it yeah. keeps popping up and all the like old footage and old newspapers and stuff. And it's Pennywise. Yeah, every time they talked about any period in the history and showed a picture of people, he it's was Pennywise. Like, yeah. 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 So, I mean, but Pennywise as a character, creepy as fuck. Yeah. Not yeah. scary though, because I see him trying to lure kids. He actually has to look at it. Yeah. Why don't you come in? Oh my! Oh, you don't talk to strangers. My name's Pennywise. What's your name? Well, now we're not. Tra- like, why the fuck would you have to go through this back and forth? Yeah. Why don't you just snatch the fucking kid and rip his head off? If you're that scary, just fucking do it. Yeah. No, it, it, he has to do this. It's a limitation he has. It's this little character flaw. He has to worm this kid. And in. It doesn't. It doesn't seem self-imposed. Like he doesn't have a no. choice. No. It like, he can't so eat if they're not yeah, scared. It's, it's yeah, not something, he has to scare them. Yeah, I it think, doesn't seem like something he can get around. He doesn't yeah. have a blood thirst. He has a fear thirst. Yeah. So he has this limitation built in. So as a result, I'm like, I'm not scared of Pennywise. I'm, I'm creeped out. And I'm always constantly thinking, since the the way to fight him, fear, is to not be afraid. Yeah. As we know from every movie in the 80s. Face Starring your kids, fears, yeah. Face yeah. your fear and you conquered, you know, you win yeah. the movie. yeah. yeah. Um, I'm always cool? thinking, like, what happens if one of his kids, after he, like, lunges at him, when his kid just clocks him in the face and says, let's go, motherfucker, and, like, trounces him? Like, what, what if he takes on, like, the captain of the fucking football team? <laughs> and what if Pennywise is actually outmatched by some guy who yeah. really don't give a shit? Why doesn't he go ever go up to the bullies? Like, Never. Uh, well, no, that's a wall. Well, uh, he he one, goes up to one. He goes up to the one. But he doesn't come out as Pennywise. Yeah, no, no, not at all. He, and he only he goes up to, to like... Up to like the first one because he kind of stumbles and yeah. scares. He, he stumbles scares the yeah. shit out of it. Right. Yeah. He just scares yeah. the shit out. Of it. Right. But I mean, I'm just can't wait for him. And to, like, he's, even then, he still winds up at the end of that. Mm-hmm. 
Let's go to spoilers. All right, let's go to spoilers. Let's go right, well, with quick final thoughts. Sorry, so the little, see it or so not see little it. kid gets captured by Pennywise well, or no. killed by Pennywise. Okay, well, spoiler-free yeah. section. Um, absolutely see this movie. It was really awesome. Yeah, no, no, definitely see it. If, if, especially if you like Stranger Things and yeah. any movies with... Yeah, I'd say see it because it's fun. Definitely uh, see it. See it, see it. And I, I, I'm going to have to add caveat. It, it, if you like Sit in the back row <laughs> so you can watch yeah. people get scared because yeah. that was great. Yeah. We had we had a little PA like right in the front yeah. where we could see it. She was jumping and screaming <laughs> and kicking her seat and flipping the fuck out. Oh, that was great. Okay, I have to disagree with sit. that. No, Do not sit in the back row. Sit in a, in a spot we have a good view the of the middle. screen. We sat in the middle. That yeah. is what I was suggest. As soon as guy suggest. pointed her out, I started keeping track. Oh, like I said, I so wanted to go get some milk. And I was like, oh shit, she really does like jump out of the seat. And like part of me towards the end, I wanted to sneak up behind her. Oh god. <laughs> Just to have her like really Just to freak flip out. the fuck out. Because oh, that would have been so, that would have been so great. So, the little brother... In the spoilers right, now, yeah. In the spoilers right, now, but, okay, but, yeah. The little here, brother, but, the SS but, Georgie. Yeah. The little brother gets... Has a discourse with Pennywise, a creepy, yeah. creepy fucking clown in a storm drain. Yeah, in a rainy day, and eventually pulls the kid in and kills him. Well, kills him. Right, bites yeah. off his arm. First. Bites off. He his bites arm. his arm clear off, and, and then, that lady is just watching him. No, she's not. She, she doesn't see, see, see it. No, she. she no, she, she, didn't, she didn't see that. She, she saw the kid down she there. She saw the kid she down went there. Back to reading yeah. Newspaper, yeah, covered it up, and then all of a sudden she looked over and he was gone. Yeah, but she knew a, something was off. That well, was that happening. was the thing. It yeah, was ra- you could see you could see the blood, but it was raining so hard that it yeah, was well, gone. Well, like it was all gone yeah, like well, that. Yeah. So Pennywise, this creepy demon clown, pulls this little kid into a storm drain after like ripping his arm off. Yeah. And immediately pulls him into a storm drain. And where he's dead. That's it. I mean, we're yeah, dead. Yeah, That's he's it. dead. So anyway, so the, his older brother, who's like a year or two older than him. Yeah, not, cut not, to a year later. Yeah, cut to a year later. Not even cut to. They start looking for the kid. They start wondering, where's my where's yeah. my brother? Yeah. But like a fucking year goes by. They don't find the kid. They give up looking for the kid. Yeah. And then for some random reason, they all decide, let's go looking for that kid again. As if... Oh, because other po- people went missing, too. Right. Yeah. So somebody else goes missing. Uh, or they find that other people have gone missing in a very similar way. So they say, let's go find your little brother. Yeah. We know that all of the police in the tri-state area and every single adult we've ever seen in our, in our lives have all tried to find him over the last year and didn't. But I'm sure we could figure it out. We'll look in the storm drains. Yeah, uh-huh. For kind of, I can't remember why. Because he made that model and it oh, brought yeah. him out to the For, thing. Yeah, yeah. He, his, the older brother makes a model of a sewer because that was the last place he thinks his little brother went. Not telling an adult at all for a year. Um, he makes a model yeah. out of the guinea pig tubes. Yeah. The tube yeah. city. And then he puts a G.I. Joe in it, pours water into it, and then magically it comes out the other end, which proves absolutely fucking nothing scientifically. No. Other than that gravity goes down. Yeah, if it's a model of the sewer system, they should look here. Maybe they didn't look there, but yeah. yeah. Right, so him and his friends band together as if they're right out of a standby me to go looking for the dead kid. Yeah. Because that's what happens. They go, they... And along the way, they pick up a few stragglers, which are all other losers yeah. and not popular kids in the school. And they're the losers club, yeah. Right, they're the losers club because if you want to immediately get an audience and have people, you know, sympathize with your characters. Yeah, they get beat up all the time. Exactly, be the underdogs. Yeah, yeah. Every Americans love underdogs. Yeah, Just but the bullies down. are psychotic like they always are in Stephen King. Always, always. Oh, completely psychotic. I'm going to carve my name in this kid's chest and think yeah. I can get away. Although, yeah, like, yeah. No although, wait a second. Was, There's one thing you have to hand the bullies to that this is different from the book and the original. They drive a cool Trans Am. No, they're not racist in this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, they couldn't be. Yeah, yeah because especially they ne- now. No, you, Ooh, yeah, Ooh. and I know a lot of the coast be the time, uh, but no, they pick on the black kid. No, but it's not because he's black. Were, I mean, if no, watch the original. No, they they dropped sure the N bomb like. 
a thousand times yeah, in that they had, movie. They had to, yeah, but they had to beat up the black kid in the movie. But they never like say specifically say well, like it's the well, one black character in the movie. Okay, him and his grandfather, I think, and everybody that works at that building. Right, but it's not for racist reasons though, because no, they, it's not because they couldn't get away with it. Yeah, well, it, without it, turning off the audience, because it, they want the it audience is, to be like 14. It is, but it's not but stated why, because he why says, can't the, get out of my house. We know the bad. I don't get that though, because we know they're bad guys. Why can't they be racist? Because the studio, racist people because are the bad guys. Because the doesn't want to teach the 14 year olds that they want to show up another bad word. I'm yeah. telling. I'm telling. Okay, you. that makes sense. That I'm makes sense. You, that, that makes because sense. Because they didn't target it for us. They targeted it for like kids that age. Yeah. Who got to sneak into the movie with an adult or yeah. some other irresponsible guardian <laughs> to bring him to and the movie? They don't want parents to have to explain. Oh, uh, what does this word mean? Yeah. What the yeah. N word is. Yeah. yeah. No, and I get that. That's fine. I'll okay, that makes it. sense. Yeah. I'll take it. Uh, so they go look into the storm veins and. Sure enough, they come upon all these creepy instances of, yeah. you know, well, things that are scary. But before, they'll come but, across but, Pennywise. That's the interesting thing. But before thing, they yeah. do, actually, as a group, yeah. they each see him individually. Yeah. And then only after all of them have seen him individually do they actually start talking about him. Yeah. Which seemed a little weird. A little weird to me. They only ever start talking about well, Pennywise because it was after a, they all have seen him Well, because it was one of those things, like, nobody's going to believe me, but then... Then our lead's like, something's going on. I saw a clown. I saw, I saw this. So and then I, saw, I saw a clown. So did I. I saw, oh, fuck, we're fucked. Right, yeah, right. yeah. It's, it becomes, it, it shows you what you're the most afraid of. Yeah. That's, that's, that's all it is. So anyway, so they go and they trace to figure out by using an old map yeah. that all of the sewers where they all of these creepy crimes happen all along sewer lines. That's where all these deaths happen. Yeah, go to this well house. They all go to this house, which yeah. looks like it's out of the fucking Adams Family. Or, or it like is totally it Adam. Adams Family, the, Monsters, yeah. Scooby-Doo opening credits. Yeah, Scooby-Doo opening credits. Same house. It was so Scooby-Doo, I have explained the Harlem Globe Globe <laughs> just No, it was so Scooby-Doo, there was a point where there were multiple Where's doors the for them to go through at yeah, some point. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. Where's the dog? Yeah, yeah. At least they R- had the presence of mind to say, we're not going to split up this time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it, they go into the house and they start poking around. They're like, well, this must be the focal point. Sure enough, they run across Pennywise and he fucking creeps the shit out of them yeah, and chases yeah. them out of the house trying to kill him. Or and we get a cameo from the earlier Pennywise. Right. Exactly. There is one cameo. Which is cool. That was cool. I missed that. So when they go into the all... At one point they go into a gigantic room no, filled with clowns. He's in the, the, he's in the room with, with clowns when you're looking at the coffin. He's front and center on the side. Okay. On the, yeah. on the left side. He's not wrong. That's him. That's him. Yeah. Alright. Cool. But anyway, they ch- he chases him out of the house. They regroup. Have... A bunch of like weird scenes where they're just being kids. Yeah. Uh, they, they, no, they regroup and they wound him. Right. And he runs off because they're not afraid of him. Right. And he I makes it a point to say, "I'm going to feed on your, uh, what is it? The I'm fear, the you. fear in your flesh, the well, fear in the flesh, or something like that." Well, I don't. He here, makes it known that they need to be well, afraid for him to kill them. Maybe I can't yeah. remember if that was that time or the second time they came back. It you was know, the first time. Okay. It was the first well, time that they all went to the house. In there somewhere, there's also a ripped right out of an 80s movie, cleaning montage, montage yes. with the cure. With, yeah. yes. with the cure playing with the over. Cure there's, playing. A, there's a straight up 80s group cleaning montage of a fucking bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. That that was a weird there's scene. An 80s that montage. was a very weird scene. Well, see, the, the, the thing about that that I liked, and I yeah. picked this up the second time through, yeah. is that all the parents know. Yeah. Like oh. the hypochondriac kid's mom knew. Uh, for, uh, yeah, that's for, why she was like, you don't ever uh, leave the house, you don't ever fucking go anywhere. That's the thing. That's why, and, and the all black the kids, knew, is, uh, the his caretaker are, also knew. Yeah, his all caretaker the, knew. All the parents yeah, that's are, why he was so harsh with it. All the parents it. are yeah. fucked up. People. Yeah. And all, the and cop who's a bully's dad is a fucked up yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, totally. Well, it's a Stephen King. All the parents are fucked up. I know, but, um, but I, you know, I didn't the, expect the. Here's like, the here's the thing that I was the talking about. The one girl is getting yeah. diddled by her dad. Yeah, like, that's yeah. Fucked. That's creepy. Here's the thing I was talking it? about: uh, his powers. The dad wasn't ignoring what went on in the bathroom with the blood everywhere. He couldn't see it because of Pennywise. No, he's too old. Yeah, that's it. He's too old. Okay. But they it was all see. still there. Yeah, so they were cleaning. Yeah. Yeah, blood. But it, I mean, I guess we needed that scene so we could see them beginning to conquer their fear. Yeah, yeah. But still, and then like it was um, an '80s cleaning 
montage with the cure playing. Yeah. I mean, it was just like... But I had all the kids banding together. I know, okay, and, but it was just like... Oh. Like I was saying about the direct sunlight or the sunlight thing. They might as well play thing. the A-team the theme song over there. Yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. That, that would have been good when they were going into the into the house. That would have been great right? if they played that. But, um... When they uh, when 80s, they were in the garage, the movies, the when they were in the garage with the overlay of how everything connects, yes. Yes. and Pennywise, which was uh, that was a good scene. That I, I yeah, that, that was good. good. Scene. That I, was I, good. I kind of like that scene. Yeah, that was really I, I cool. I actually kind of like that scene. That scene actually kind of like okay, I can see it's coming. He's on but, the screen. It's coming. And it, and it actually had foreshadowing too because he was going for the girl. Yes. Yes. And here's the thing. When they opened the garage door and sunlight came in, yeah. he was right. fucking gone You're and powerless. Right. You're yeah, right. That's true. You're right. Because he was a full-blown apparition doing his thing. Open yeah. that garage door, sunlight. fucking gone. Dude can't do sunlight. Yeah. yeah. No, you're right. You're right. I, I, I love how the size of Pennywise was constantly fluctuating throughout the whole movie. Yeah, he like, was... Like, they never really pinned was, down exactly how tall he was. No, it depends he, on, like, what the situation is. He would get taller. Yeah, and he would just get massive. Yeah, yeah, he was well, he like would, the would get massive. Yeah, out, yeah. Out, of, out of the the movie screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was. Yeah. Yeah, you can't really pin it down. I mean, for the most part, he looks like a normal guy, and then all of a sudden, he's like a lot bigger. But you know what? What? Fear grows. Yeah, fear grows. Yeah. But anyway, they go back to the house. They're gonna go take him on again. Um, they one guy gets his arm broken. Yeah, yeah. The one kid, the, the hypochondriac kid, gets his arm broken. And he gets taken out of out of commission. But they do figure out that there's a well in the bot in the basement of the house. Thank you. And in that well is, is where Penny the path to him. Yeah. Right, because we saw Pennywise just sneak yeah. down the well at the very Yeah, end. he always makes sure that you see him. Right. To get that creep up. To, always like, have to. Maybe they'll get scared now. Oh shit, I better go. Right. Yeah. So so they know. Let me go get this metal spike out of my head. Right. <laughs> and I'll go, I'll, I'll be back. Fuck. Yeah. yeah, physical harm doesn't really do anything. No, it's, 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 it's all about conquering your fear. Yeah, and I like I like that they that they did that the when cuz when she stabbed him through the head, the first time he like bled, it floated up. Yeah, but I mean, when she stabbed him in the head the first time, his oh his yeah, face that... is, his face is all yeah. No, his face is all like discombobulated, and you can actually see the creature underneath. Yeah, the but the, the like the blood the, the the blood fluid over that came out floated up. It didn't run down his yeah, face. That yeah. was kind of cool. No, I like that. You could also see like oh, this is a Pennywise mask. Yeah, this like there's some like evil creature underneath. Yeah, and it was like poking out on the side. Well, that's yeah. what that's what really killed it for Pennywise. After that, I couldn't give two shits about Pennywise. Like he's not a real guy. Yeah, I'll be more worried about the character about the the monster. This character, Pennywise, is like now camping and corny. Yeah, and yeah, that dude won't kill me. Yeah, this he, monster when he with the with his two like giant. Um, yeah, that wasn't a clown. Yeah, yeah. That, was, yeah. Uh, that, was, that was this shape shifting. Yeah, yeah. Monster. That was the monster. Yeah. The monster. But anyway, so they figure out that there's a well buried in the basement of this Adams family Scooby Doo yeah. house. Yeah. And in typical Goonies fashion, they load up with gear. And they go load for up it. with gear. Yeah. They lower rope and they're gonna go down this well just because they gotta go figure it out they gotta go looking for this kid well do they load up with gear I mean I remember I mean, them they, taking the uh, they took a rod iron fence apart they, and they take the spikes they took the, they took the lamb killing gun which is they took brutal. the lamb killing yeah. gun yeah. With the, with and everybody the in the theater was all oh and you said it you're like that's where fucking lamb yeah. come from what do you well, expect at yeah, the, the beginning yeah. when they introduced lamb, lamb when they is delicious uh, leave it alone well they introduced the, the one and only African American kid cause there has to be one it's an 80's movie there has to be one but only one yeah, yeah. anyway he of course works with his grandfather in a shitty shitty part of town not yeah. like all these upper class white kids or middle class white kids uh, and all they do is they slaughter lambs for presumably a slaughterhouse so all they do is they use a the little bullet air powered gun the, the thing that they use in No Country for Old Men but a handheld little pistol version of it and yeah right in the beginning where they they you see it happen when they introduce the character yeah and everybody and you can see it's a lamb and then somebody yeah. puts the gun to the lamb's forehead and boom, you know that's it because it's the, actually the most humane because you don't want the poor animal to suffer yeah but anyway they do it and the whole audience full of 20 somethings goes oh I, I kind of said I was like where do you think lamb talks come from <laughs> well that's where anyway <laughs> can, can we talk about one of the best creepiest scenes the yeah. children's 
a television show. Oh. Wait, that, no, no, wait. How the, the slow no, no, build up. No. The of only it, show that's was, ever on. The television. only show that's ever on television. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, it's the only channel that everybody has. Yeah, on. yeah. It's the creepy. And they just slowly introduce it. You just hear little bits of dialogue, like you hear. Clown. You're like, I had a fun time playing in the sewer today. Yeah, yeah it's sewer, sewer, yeah. sewer, sewer. And the next time it was clown. clown it was like, clown. yeah, I like the funny clown. And the next time it's then, kill them all, kill yeah, them then, all. Yeah. yeah, then finally you see when it's on the on the bully's house. Kill your dad. Yeah. Kill everybody. Yeah. Kill everybody. Yeah. yeah. So his dad was walking there. Yeah. I, that's what I was like. It's, it's, it's like the, the only show that's, that's ever on. Yeah, it's yeah, almost it's, it's almost like the cornfield from the Twilight Zone. It's the yeah. 80s. It's yeah. a small town in Maine. Yeah. They don't get cable. It's the only show. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so they go down the rope and they end up uh, finding where all the wait, kids... Wait, wait. We skipped over the part I hated the most. Well, no, I'm just doing the basic one. Okay. So they go down the rope and then they eventually they, they follow the little sewers that are underneath and they find this this massive, like, room. Okay, but cave. before that... Let's let's get to. But that's where all the kids the, are. Where all the all yeah, the kids have yeah. been killed over the years, and they're all there, and they're all kind of kept there in suspense. Uh, what was the part that you hated the most? The part that I hated the most was the girl confronts her, basically molesting father, beats yes. him or like. Break, breaks free of that physically kicks like his that. ass I was fine with that no I was cool with that I didn't like it because immediately after she has her power of liberation moment she turns into the damsel in distress she gets kidnapped by the well, thing and they, taken away well they and, had they had to do two things though. well they could have taken anybody but like I was telling Adam while we were waiting for the Uber I understand that because she was the most afraid she would probably ever be in her life fighting yeah. her dad thinking she might have killed him yeah. And that's and why he showed up so powerful and was able to take well, her away, but yeah. I was still kind of like, oh, fuck. Yeah, but don't forget, this is the girl that is has less fear than all of the dudes, because she yeah. comes into the quarry where yeah. none of them have the balls to do it. Yeah. She just, like, doesn't even think about it. She just jumps in and be like, whoa, this is going to be fun. That was, and they're that like, was, oh, shit, we got showed up by a girl. That was doubly great because they played her jumping in slow motion, but they played the Stranger Kids thing, thing saying, fuck, and just regular audio is fucking oh, fantastic. Yeah. We just got showed up by a girl. Let's go. Well, they did. They were standing there great. like yeah. idiots, like almost yeah. daring because, themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she yeah. just comes along and just dives in. And I'm like, oh, shit, good for her. But then it shows... After she's clearly been, like, she doesn't have any really fear. Yeah. Except for one thing. Her fucking dad. Yeah. That's it, because her dad is a yeah, fucking, fucking evil... Mo- it makes Pennywise look like... Right, makes Pennywise look, look like, like nothing. Like kid? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Make Pennywise look like a fucking, like a bobblehead. He looks like nothing. Because her dad is this evil, molesting prick. Yeah. Who, was, thankfully, she fights off. Yeah. But she's terrified of him. She yeah. has no fear of anything else. She, she goes along with all of this. Yeah, she's the one stab Pennywise. Well, yeah, all yeah. The, yeah, she's always one step ahead of Pennywise. Yeah. But she goes along with all these ludicrous plans these, yeah. like, five morons come up with to go find this kid. It's just stupid ideas. They just happen yeah. upon this Pennywise. But she goes along with it because she has no fear. She faces her own bullies at school. Yeah. They're afraid of bullies at school. She's not afraid of her bullies at school. Yeah. You notice that? Right in the beginning. Yeah, yeah no, she's, no, like, she's not afraid of them at all. They yeah. treat her like shit. She don't give a fuck. Yeah. The boys, when the bullies treat them like shit, they do, They care. It hurts. Yeah. It sucks. Not to her. But when the to girl, be fair. Yeah, what the girls is, do to her is not what they did to the fact, what the boys yeah. did to the fact kid. Yeah. There is a bit of a difference between calling somebody a slut and throwing garbage on them. Versus carving. And carving. Yeah, yeah, carving, yeah carving, carving your name the, into their stomach. Into yeah. their stomach. With yeah. a knife. Yeah. 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 Okay, there, there is a slight difference. I did slight, like, I did like how you, I, yeah. just, I did like how he got away. He's like, fuck this, I'm out of here. Yeah, he just ran yeah. away. Like, fuck yeah, this shit, yeah. 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 he just took off. And sure enough, <laughs> you guys are doing last call right now. Last call, guys. Last it's call. fucking dramatic last music, cue. <laughs> yeah, dramatic music for the kid that can run at half a mile an hour. That was, that was sad and pathetic, and I just, I, I started laughing. Yeah, no, everybody I, yeah. else is holding their breath. I was laughing at him. Like, this is, this is all wrong, yeah. No, it's like crazy dramatic music. Yeah. You know, like Keanu Reeves is in the bus, and the bus is drop, about to drop below 50. Crazy dramatic music. And it's really, it's this, like, 12-year-old fat kid, like, briskly jogging yeah. through a stream. And I'm like, are you Double. kidding me? Like, from, from a what? long distance, too. Yeah, yeah. Like, where you can see him. 
like I'm like, dude, I can walk faster than this. This is not running away. This is not sprinting. This is this is a friendly jaunt away from the bullies. Anyway, uh, anyway, they they find. Uh, all the where all the kids have been kept throughout the years. Yeah, which according- was a which was an odd problem too. But that might be Pennywise's cloaking field. Yeah, strange. There oh, was yeah, a cause... huge grate in the ceiling. Yeah, I don't know. What that like was maybe all about. fifty or sixty feet wide. That sunlight was now, coming. Yeah, like, like, wait, that, coming that reminds me. You never read the book. I never read the book. Did you read the book? Uh, not all the way. Not all the way. Okay, so I don't know if that was original or not. What does it matter? The fact that, yeah, they were literally floating. They were floating Throughout in the, the entire air. movie, you hear Pennywise saying, you yeah. all float down yeah. here. They all float down here. Right. I just thought they meant, like, bodies floating, floating down the water. Floating down the water. Which, which made me wonder, that, were they actually... I don't remember that. Yeah. So which made me wonder if they were actually were dead. Actually, well, the bodies were still intact. Well, yeah, and she, um, what's her name? Bev. Bev. Bev was floating temporarily. Yeah, because she he couldn't eat her. And she came back. He couldn't when, feed off the fear, yeah. 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 But none of the other yeah. the kids came back, though, came they were floating. Like, no. Presumably, yeah. they were still all dead. Yeah, they started coming down, but... They were dead. Because he was gone. Yeah. I think they were dead. Yeah. I think. I, who knows? Yeah, it was... She comes back. Yeah, but there were several, there were several, like, just... Almost like C's missing? Well, I think they had, they had, I think they had one too many scenes. Yeah. What's the scene you could drop? Well, well, I'll finish up really quick with... And then they find Pennywise comes out to kill them all. They've all conquered their fears, so thus they've conquered Pennywise. He's off and he goes down another well. There happens yeah. to be another well. Yeah. He goes down and presumably that leads us into building to a part two. Yeah. Because there's going to be a part two. Yeah. Because they didn't kill him, he just stopped feeding. So right. he'll be he, he just stopped and uh, extra hungry when he comes back. Right, exactly. Yeah. He might be extra. He might be doubled up when he comes back. Yeah. Here. Uh, the end. Anyway, uh, my scene that I could cut is the second time they go back to the uh, Adam Sandler house. Is the what? Second time they go back to the Adam Sandler house. Uh huh. Because they go there once, they have a bullshit plan. It fails. They run away. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah. Then they go back. And then they do it right, which is still them failing. The all they, the, but the only thing that came out of that was a a broken arm for one of the characters. Wait, no, they only went to the house twice as a group. Right. The second time, they, the only thing they figure out is that. Oh, I'm sorry. The second time they go back to the house, they go down the well. They go down the, the well. Finale, yeah. Right. They could have. You could have combined that into one scene, and you could. It all happened at once. Yeah. yeah. And you didn't need two scenes because in between those two scenes, you had this bullshit about how the kid broke his arm. And yeah. Mother, and nothing. Yeah. Nothing happened. Yeah. Nothing Penny happened. Pennywise like took a break. That's what I'm saying. Well, There's, and they did hurt him though, so maybe that's he was recuperating. Yeah. yeah. Like the scene of them just going into the house the second time and then going down the well is not. That that long. It involves, yeah. it involves a, a scuffle with one of the bullies. They kill the bully. And, that, and that's like 10 the minutes. The black kid kills the bully. Right, that's like 10 yeah. minutes. Okay, so that's not a lot. Yeah. You could tack that 10 minutes onto the original scene that first go into the house, and everything's fine. Everything works the same. What I'm talking well, about is, had that, to have is that, that middle section where nothing fucking yeah, happens. Yeah, that 10, 20. They had to have that low point where they all split up and well, you think the yeah. movie's not going to go on, but you know the movie's going to go on. Yeah, but they just show kids yeah. being kids just to remind you maybe this isn't no, a horror movie. No. There were too many yeah. scenes where this just wasn't a horror movie. Yeah, like you said, they're like, I guess they're done looking for his brother because yeah, there's a girl g- now. It seemed like they yeah. gave up looking for the brother. Yeah, the little yeah. boy, like the town just gave up looking for this kid. Yeah. Like overnight. And then the kids start looking for them, right? That was the whole point. It's the yeah. point of the little brother, right? That was the point. After about 10 minutes, they stop looking for him and they're way more concerned with anyone. They don't give a shit about the little kid anymore. They don't care. Now they're only worried about their fear. They don't care yeah. about finding yeah. the kid anymore. Nothing is hindered on finding this kid anymore. Nothing, nothing matters. At least he's stand by me. The whole point was to find the dead kid. The yeah. whole fucking movie was to find that dead kid the whole time. This? Oh, I want to find the dead kid. Uh, there's this other thing going on. Oh shit, we forgot about the dead kid. Oh yeah, and let's leave, let's leave our bikes in the middle of the street. Yes, yes. yes. And then what let's the like, hell? yeah. Yeah. They just God, left you, all God, the bikes You, you in pointed the that out. I didn't I notice couldn't, it. I couldn't help it. I, I didn't notice it. You pointed it out. They leave their bikes and I started counting four times. In the middle of the street. The amount of times yeah. that they left their bikes in the middle of the street. There was, was that scene and, and just of the driver going down the street 
and then just seeing a slow, a, a giant slodge of, of of kids' bikes just lying in the streets. Like, oh, what the hell? How are we supposed to get by this? And as soon as he figures that away, a few days later, he's driving them out, and then boom! Yeah. Seven more. Uh, how many kids were there? Seven. seven eight, yeah. yeah. I think Okay, yeah, like seven, like bi- seven bikes just in the middle of the road, and then it like, keeps happening to this guy. Oh, over over two, two of those kids' characters weren't properly developed. Yeah, and oh, no, like, no, no. They, I mean, like I one scene they have all their bikes, and the next scene one kid's by himself walking, and like what? Yeah, yeah, they, they walk a lot. For They're kids like lying. Yeah, no they yeah. walk a whole hell of a lot. Or as soon as uh, as soon as they first leave the house. Yeah. They're inside the house. Then they're arguing in front of some random house where they just all drop their bikes and decided to argue. Yeah. And the start. kid's mom comes up and takes them away. They all get on their bikes and leave. Like they just let's just stop here and fight. Yeah, but yeah. I, I remember they they get out of the Scooby Doo house. Yeah. And then like instantly, well, they don't get out. Some kids house. Yeah. Just rent. Just and his random mom's house. AMC pacer. And she yelling, "I'm you're not his friends anymore, honey. You're not their friend yeah. anymore." And you can't see them anymore. Look, they got you hurt. I'm like, wait a minute, are they are they still in front of the, the Scooby Doo house? And yeah, they didn't. No, it's not. It's just some random house. What they didn't develop How enough was that. What they didn't develop enough was the a like the power that Pennywise had over all the adults. Yeah, because it was, was obvious he had some power over the adults because yeah. they kind of didn't care. Yeah, they, they could. They but really, some of them knew. Yeah, but the adults really just didn't seem to give a shit. Well, like oh, the no, mom, the, the one mom all. did. She only gave a shit about her one kid. Her one kid. Well, yeah, but she she, gave she like no shits about. But like she like like no, no, they don't knew. No, no, she gave a shit about her kid yeah. hanging out with these kids. No, she, no, because she was she. The way she phrased it, it, it came across as she knew that Pennywise was out there. That's why she kept him under the delusion of being sick and kept him at home as often as possible. I'll give you that. Yeah, you know, keeping him fearful as possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that really worked out. Yeah. Um, I, would I mean, he, him I, I, and the uh, Stranger Kids thing were the fucking best part of the movie. Well, absolutely, they had the best lines. Yeah, they, the yeah, they, they were so great. The like, you know it doesn't there? smell there's like caca to me, yeah, senor. Yeah. That was a very funny line. It's gray water. It's got piss and shit in it. Because, yeah, it, it just it had that feel of, like, of like just me and my friends messing around, yeah. and we were just repeating like, things we got on, like, feels, cartoon yeah. shows to each other. Right. And that just felt like, didn't yeah, come across too, it was just like, the impression of, like, some cartoon character yeah. that they all saw before. And yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah the, that stuff was so they didn't, they, did, they, they never yeah, really came across dollars, as a yeah. terrified group of kids for not long enough. Yeah, even they, when like they split up, no, they were having they were fun. they were afraid. They were just like nothing's were, going on. There were too yeah. many moments of levity for me to call it horror. Yeah, and uh, unintentional ones too. Yeah, they, and that that kind of blew it. A lot of yeah. them for no reason. Yeah. It was just to remind you they're kids, but it's like we already know they're kids. Oh yeah, that? I wanted to talk about the thing that almost ruined the whole movie for me. Okay, what's that? The very fucking beginning of the movie, when Georgie runs downstairs, and there's that ominous piano music playing, and they show a shot of the mom on the fucking piano. It's like, well, no, that's not how you do that, because then it sounds like... It makes it seem like she's playing the music we're listening to, so it's fucking throwing everything all off. I was like, oh, fuck. It's right out of Spaceballs. <laughs> I think this. I, I think when they made this movie, they couldn't figure out what kind of movie they wanted to make. Yeah. And I think that's where a lot of our little qualms come with. Yeah. That's, that's my theory. I, I, think, I think they couldn't figure out if they were going to make a right. thriller. Yeah. Like, Stand By Me is a thriller. Yeah. Okay. Um, but... It's kind of a horror story. Yeah, I'd say it's I'd say it's the so writing. It comes down to the writing. They're like, oh, it's a horror movie, but we want to kind of make it like you know Goonies the same I mean put together. Yeah, so but how it do we like, do that? Well, one's a thriller, one's a horror movie. You're never going to get either one of them right when you mash them together. Like, well, that. what they didn't do was make Pennywise terrifying to adults. No, he wasn't. Because as a kid, he's to a kid, a kid that's yeah. terrifying. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But it would have ruined the whole point. Yeah, it would have ruined the whole point of the movie, and it would definitely not let a sequel happen. Yeah. So I guess they they figure well, we can't do it then. Yeah, it basically came down to the flaws in the movie were the writing, because everybody was good actors. Those kids were fantastic. The kids, no, the kids. The kids were great. Pennywise was yeah. really cool. It's just his writing was kind of like 
No, uh, one of my favorite scenes though of him is when he's dancing. Yeah. At the end, because like. I, I like, like the way he, they did it where his I head... I like how he chases people. His head his, was in the center of the flame the whole time. His yeah. head was in the center of the frame the whole time and it didn't seem to move and he was angry that he had to dance. Because <laughs> he was like... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, yeah, it didn't yeah. seem like he was angry at the kid. It seemed like he was just angry. Like, He's at, like, you should be that. fucking scared right now. I gotta yeah, why eat are you hungry? not scared yeah. of me? Yeah. It seemed like he was just angry at their, at their lack of scare, of scaredyness. He was See, I'm wondering if they'll explain what the three lights down his throat were. Yeah, Because they never that. did. I didn't get that. Those were supposed to be the well, dead Well, I noticed lights. that the yeah. one... The, the yeah. kid who and they the did the, the, he, the he I has, guess that those were the dead lights I still am not in time I'm not sure what the dead lights are yeah you know what's that the it was supposed face. to be a leper yeah but the leper has a triangle yeah. nose yeah. in three distinct points. Yeah. In like a trial, yeah. just like the three points. So I don't know if they're like building or something. In well, they two. did. They, they introduced the time travel thing. I guess. Because she said, I saw we were all back down there and yeah. we were old and it yeah, scared me again. True. And it was kind of like. Yeah, when she was in a little trance. It was like a little. It was too yeah. throwaway. Like she yeah. should have described, or you, they should have shown. Yeah, they didn't show anything. They just showed the like the was, light, the mouth open up with lights down yeah. there, and you're like, what? The it was fuck? just a recollection. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. You know why that was? It's because they didn't, they don't really know. At least when they were making this, they didn't know if they were going to be able to make a second movie. Or not. Oh, they knew. They no, knew. I don't. I don't think they, don't they really. Think so? No, I mean, if this was like a huge bomb, I don't see them being able to make a second movie because okay. it's not in production right now. Right, but like they'll they'll they like wait right. to see how well but this movie does the very before last, they make the uh, well, the next one. Chapter one. Right. Chapter one. Yeah. It, chapter one. Yeah. So at least when they release the film. But, oh God, the and, last uh, shot yes, too fucking because we've drove never seen nuts. that happen before. With her hand on his do face, remember, did you notice that? Yeah. Hold on. It was all the, like in the wrong place. So like, fuck. Do you remember the Super Mario Brothers movie? Sadly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember the end of the Super Mario Brothers movie? Vaguely. Where yeah, it was all, a teaser for the, another movie. Yeah, it's a teaser for another movie, yeah. which happens well, in a lot like, of movies. Yeah. Just like He Man. Just oh, like yeah. He Man, yeah, head Skeletor's head pop up. Yeah. Well, anyway, I mean, they're gonna make a se- they're gonna make a sequel. I like the movie. Yeah, it was, I'm it was hopeful more... that they're gonna clear up a lot of our little problems. Yeah, with the sequel. And I'm I think so too. And I'm hopeful they're gonna have a, they're gonna have it figured out what kind of movie they want to make. No, oh, yeah, that. I be the think best. they should just stick with a thriller. I think doing trying to make it a horror movie, which this is billed as a horror movie, but yeah. it's just not. It's billed as a horror, horror movie because it has the jump scares in it. Yeah, yeah, there's a million jump scares, but I'm sorry, but they're not it's scary. a thriller. Yeah, it's it's an, it is a thriller. Yeah, it's, well, like, uh, it's more it's more, scary. I, it's I, more I, tense I, than it is creepy. Yeah, exactly. And what's the thing that actually scared you? Because you said some shit's actually scared you. Yeah, so you said Pennywise. Uh, Pennywise, when you he said a came, specific scene. There's, well, when he, came, there were a couple. When he came out of the screen, uh, when they are looking at him um, uh, through the, um, yeah, the, the projector, through the projector, and it starts off it over? building the predictive scene. Uh, then when he physically comes out of it and comes out and yeah. he just stares. At them, and he turns his head just like that. Yeah, that I found genuinely fucking yeah, terrifying. See, I was thinking, which was a setup for the girl because he lunged at her. Yeah, and he was going see, for her, yeah. me, all I was seeing. I mean, I I liked it. Um, and yeah, I thought it was scary, but I didn't think it was nearly as scary as you because all I thought was Vigo from Ghostbusters two, okay. or, the, ring, or the, yeah. ring. Or, the ring, or the ring, or the ring coming out of the television, or the ring, yeah, yeah. or yeah. the girl coming out of the TV in the ring. Uh, but I, it my was mind, something my about mind, the way his head was animated because right, it clearly yeah. was. No, that's not. I, I, I hear you. Yeah, yeah. But that's what made me think of Vigo from Ghostbusters. Just coming what out they the did with his teeth yeah. in, that's the, what in he this does. movie was like fucking scary to me. Well, the teeth, yeah. But what, I mean, what else scared you? As soon as I figured out the teeth. Oh, um, when the, the first time they went into the house, and the first time they went. That was like ten minutes long. What part? Uh, pretty much the, not the entire thing, but pretty much most of the, of the whole fucking thing, especially when they went to the clown, uh, I mean, so like the clown part, I found that genuinely scary. I found the, the, the painting scary, the, the Jewish painting. Painting, the, yeah, the I found that fucking, yeah. that, that was fucking scary too. Yeah, but you heard what I said. Right? How the fuck would you have that in your office? Oh yeah, that <laughs> yeah. seems so weird. Yeah, it's yeah. such a strange painting a rabbi would have. In his and then office. like, like a, a, it's another, a weird painting another, rabbi, like yeah. another slight. Well, do you want to skip up to the rewrite? The, I, I mean, I think I've kind of done my rewrite. Yeah, for me, for me, I would have been like, let's just burn down the house and then go down there. Yeah, 
Yeah. Just burn down the house. Nobody fucking lives there. Nobody gives a yeah, fuck. I, I would like that. Why is it even there? So like, if they burn the house down and then the wells the thing, exposed. No, but the things still things still keep happening. So obviously it wasn't the house. Yeah. And then they go back to the rubble and then they find the well. Yeah. How about that? Is that yeah. Like, yeah. Work for you guys? Yeah. yeah that's that'd be like my one of my main I, things. I, you know? I'd, and I'd go for that. And no better. point did they use fire. No, that's not true. They had the one bully kid with the lighter. No, the the kids. Oh, the kids. Yeah, they didn't think fire. to bring anything that burns. No, no, they. You know, no. What the little kids? Yeah, they, they that's like, like they had that. The bully. Okay, I was okay. Well, this I was is a, battery acid, you slime. Yeah. The original. Well, no, the, the original doesn't count for this. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I know. Okay, yeah. we can't compare the original. The I would have. I would have. I would have yeah. changed. I would have changed the uh, the one that got kidnapped because I really didn't like the girl getting turned into a damsel in distress. That kind of bugged me. I understood it inside the framework, but it just bugged me. Uh, you just a major old big old feminist today, aren't you? No. What's What's the point of doing the same thing again when you don't have to? No. Well, I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I kind of went with it. And it would have solidified gonna, that they all cared well, about each other equally because he was like, oh, they got Beverly. Well, we got to go get Beverly, the one girl, because well, I like her. Here's where you she's know? not really entirely the damsel in distress. Because she wasn't afraid of him. No, it's because when she is captured and she's floating, the, the main love interest, the dude that obviously has a real connection with her. Not the fat kid. Although I couldn't figure out if that was going to happen halfway through the movie. I still couldn't yeah. figure out if. So that was kind of weird. They did make a point of making that kind of funny no, at the they, end. Yeah, they didn't make yeah. it funny. They made it look like it, like she was actually going to get together with the little fat kid. Like, I don't think that's going to happen. I think she's going to get together with this other guy. Oh, good. Okay, she finally does. Yeah. All right, that guy, the guy who's missing his little brother, finds her all by himself and says essentially... Uh, I'll get back to you. I'm gonna go look for my little brother. Yeah, I knew. The, I knew even she, last he night. He ditches her. Well, I knew. I knew so even as far last as damsel night. in the stress goes, yeah, he finds her, doesn't help her, instead keeps looking for his little brother. So, well, he wasn't looking for his brother because he knew at that point what was happening, and he wanted to get Pennywise one on one. Yeah, okay, fine. I, I, that was obvious even last okay, night. I'm fine. like, I know exactly what he's doing and why he went off by himself. Okay, that okay. made sense. Okay, I'll give you that. The Jewish kid going off by himself, who was really skittish and didn't want to that be is, there, did not sense. make sense. Well, that made that, that, made, that, that made yeah. doesn't make any sense. I, I, didn't, I didn't understand, but they didn't, yeah. they didn't develop that that character that well. Yeah, they only developed. Like, all we the knew is that he was having his bar mitzvah. Yeah, and that he was practicing. Yeah. Yeah. that's all we knew of this kid. That's it. And there was this creepy fucking painting in the rabbi's office. Yeah, that's all we know about him. Nothing else. Everybody else had more shit done. Yeah, and had more lines too. That kid had barely any lines. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm not as upset about the damsel in distress because I think I've gone on record many times. That Hollywood is afraid to do damsel in distress for the past like mm, thirty well, years. Yeah. There aren't any damsel in distress. You will never see a weak well, woman I, in a movie. And I understand we ha- we can't show weak women. I didn't need her to be. Time. I didn't I, I need her to be the strong but, lead though. But just over the last thirty years, they just like don't that. exist anymore. And I don't have a problem with that. It's like if you see any movie, it's. Offensive if you show a woman with any kind of frailty, apparently. In the end, she always has to be the one who solves the problem, kicks the ass. You see, I don't need her to be that. I just need her to be no, one of the guys. What I'm saying is, is that there actually is a massive shortage of Zanzel and Stress. Before, it was too many, obviously. Very show of All the time, not, yeah. yeah. it was all the fucking time. It was always some hero swinging in to rescue some poor idiot woman who got herself into trouble or something in the story. Okay, yeah, too much, too much, too much. And I didn't like that the kiss brought her out of it. Right, but now it's been like, we've had like 25, 30 years yeah. of never seeing a damsel in distress because everybody said we don't want to see damsel in distresses anymore. Yeah. So now there's a whole generation of there's no such thing as a weak woman. Well, be a little fair. Not every woman is fucking Laura Croft. Well, that I didn't need Sarah her to. Connor. I didn't need her to be that. You know, I needed I them mean, to take somebody else. I didn't mind it because it was the first movie I've seen in a long time where you actually did show her. With somebody who was tough and fearless at the beginning, all of a sudden was up. I didn't mind it, and I didn't mind how they did it. No, because how they did it fit inside the story. Because you didn't, you didn't take away your, your guts. 
You yeah, you didn't take her. anything away from you her because she wasn't afraid. afraid. Yeah, she was just overpowered by this crazy monster. Yeah, that's what not weird. It t- takes the whole group to take the thing down anyway. Yeah, so I didn't mind how they did it, and as a result, I didn't mind her being a damsel in distress for what seven total minutes of screen time. See, I, I would have liked it better if <laughs> she was her scene. I would have liked it better if her scene had played out and the other kids showed up and said they took somebody else, and then they were just like, "We got to go get him." That's it. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I kind of dig the idea of her. She was kind of like the heart of the group. Yeah, that's why. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, a lot of that has to do with the fact that she was the girl, but she was like the heart of the group. Yeah, I agree. She, yeah. she, she brought reality to every all of her all of her bullshit rambling. Yeah, because she'll like mention reality. And, reality. and I want her for a Pippi Longstocking movie. She would be great in Pippi Longstocking. She got her hair, and I told you. Was it just look, me, it's, it's or did matter. she look exactly like prepubescent Amy Adams? She did. She, she did, did, didn't she? Yeah, she did. Yeah, totally. I don't know what prepubescent Amy Adams looks like. Thank you. Uh, okay, not prepubescent, no, she, but she like very, a, very she uh, recently like, post. She looked like a very young Amy Adams. She looked yeah, like all the teenage actors were Amy 14 Adams. and 15, and they were, they were great. They were great. The writing is a problem with the movie. She looked so much yeah. older than the other kids, no, though. No, I think I think everything. Too. I, I felt like she looked like little, she was yeah, like that's... 16 or 17, Oof, while the rest of the guys were like 13, 14. I was just 14. hanging out with my friends, yeah. <laughs> she definitely looked like a young Amy Adams. I thought that, too. As soon as the fucking hair got cut, I was like, oh, look, it's Molly Ringwald. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. Because and I'm not the only person that. who thought of that. Yeah, hang, oh, a, yeah, lantern yeah, it. hang a lantern on it, yeah. One of our favorite characters in the movie even calls her. Who invited Molly, Molly Ringwald into this? Yeah. Yeah. And she yeah. flips him off. Yeah. Who invited yeah. Molly Ringwald into this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I, I clapped for that. Everybody, yeah, else is, like, everybody else in the theater is like in their 20s and they're like, who's Molly Ringwald? Who's Molly? Yeah. yeah. I clapped. I was like, yes, exactly. I really wanted to hear somebody say, what's he talking? What's, that's an old phone? When he, when he called when they the one scene with the phone in the movie when they called oh, the, the well, kid with the wrist they've all <laughs> and that was why she wrote loser on his fucking cast and he tried to change it to I knew that was a bad idea that when was, they that had that so scene great. where the kid yeah. just lets her write whatever she wants because she, she's the only one willing to write something on his cast yeah like some of the perks are really good like the creepy pharmacist that was a good he changes the O to V yeah the, 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 the S to a V yeah the lover yeah <laughs> It's cute, it's funny, but I mean, like, oh, I was, Dude, how creepy I was, was that looking at her, I was like, though. oh, honey, don't let her do that. Oh, yeah, honey, don't. Yeah. It's obviously, if she's tormenting you, you just don't know yet. She's going to write something really nasty on that. Nobody send your cast, huh? I want to keep it clean. Don't <laughs> let her do it. Don't let her be the only person. No. It doesn't matter if it's sympathy. She's going to write something terrible on her. Yeah, you know what? It was, it was a fun It was a fun popcorn it, thriller. It really, it, yeah, 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 it was. Yeah, a popcorn thriller. That's a... There, there's your genre. Yeah, I Popcorn like that. Filler. Guy. Yeah, I, 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 like that. I, I can yeah. see that. Yeah, that's that's there's because it was more creepy, intense than scary. Because I count jump it. scares. We see, we jump four. scares are kind of like for me. They're kind of like eh, I, I count it. We see four yeah. deaths. That's it. Yeah, two hours and fifteen minutes. You see four deaths again, just from that statistic. Not a great horror movie. Yeah. Not a great horror movie. I mean, we know horror movies that involve kids. They all, I mean, at least most of them have to die. Yeah. Especially if they're teenagers and they're at a lake house. (laughs) Yeah, that goes without saying. They're dying. (laughs) Uh, I did appreciate that it's rated R, and they gave the kid from Stranger Things... All Some the fucks. R-rated all the F- this motherfucker all the looks like having yeah. helper over here. Right, this one. And that, right. and that kid's like, he's got an H over here, he's who, got these cuts yeah. over here, he's fucked. Yeah, who didn't laugh in the, in the, in the audience? Oh. This motherfucker <laughs> looks like hamburger <laughs> helper over here. He's got an H and all those other cuts and things. And uh, you never think, it's the ki- it's the lead from, sh- from Stranger Things. Yeah. It's that mm-hmm. kid. Yeah, no, they, they gave him and the hypochondria kid like the best lines in the movie. But it totally worked. No, they were they were they played off each other so fucking well. Yeah, it totally worked. I really hate that I drew the short straw. I wouldn't have done that if this was a dick. I think so oh I wouldn't have done this. Oh, what, what do you say? Can only virgins see this thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he's the last guy to yeah, see. He was see he, he Pennywise, was, so he's yeah, like, wait, he guys, he can only so virgins see. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh yeah, he so talks scary. about Bev's rumors. He's like, oh, I heard about her. 
man, you know, the list of the dudes that she's fucked, man, it's longer than my dick. Oh, no, 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 no that's not a very long list. Yeah, yeah. It's not a very long list, thing, is it? Oh, fuck. I don't, I didn't like it when the uh, black kid, mm-hmm. he's, he's, he's getting scared, he's seeing scary things, and then immediately the bullies in the Trans Am show up in the alley and almost run him over. You know, almost yeah, kill him. Yeah. Almost murder him, vehicular manslaughter. And then tease him and then take off and he's on the ground. And then somebody somebody walks out second, like milliseconds. Must have after, seen what just happened. After, yeah. after yeah. the Trans Am leaves. Yeah. Millisecond. Yeah. Walks out. What's going on out here? Why are you on the ground? Yeah, but well, you what? didn't see the car that was parked here you with the engine see running? It? Yeah. Forty seven hundred pounds of Pontiac yeah. Yeah. run yeah. my ass into the ground, Dad, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, our grandfather or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, so it's a good movie. It's it a is popcorn a good movie. thriller. It's got its, it's got its few flaws, but yeah, look at it as a popcorn thriller. Yeah, and you know, be a fan of Stranger Things, Stand by Me, Goonies. Yeah, see it. Explorers. Oh, Explorers. Oh, I'm overdue to watch Explorers. Right, guys. Yeah, yeah. You calling it night? I think we're calling it. All right, we're calling it. See it, John. See your it. tab. I'm gonna close you out. Come on, ready? Cool. All right, we're doing it. Back to the cat videos. Have a good night, everybody. Back to the cat videos. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.